of increasing global income inequality? Yes, but we are still dealing with corporations that have their base, most of them, here in the United States. Are they more global than ever? Yes. Is that a serious problem? Absolutely. You know, 30, 40 years ago, we spoke about corporations moving production jobs out of the United States. 10 or 15 years ago, we began to talk about outsourcing, moving white-collar jobs out. The most recent addition to that is the decision of corporations, as they look around the world, to say, you know, the growth of our market, the growth of demand, it's in Asia, it's in Latin America, it's in parts of... It's not here. The American people are exhausted. Their wages are going nowhere. We have high unemployment. And the fact is, no one's going to lend them much more money because they're tapped out. So they're not a growing market. So you see American corporations literally focused f for production and for consumption elsewhere. That means they're going to take care of themselves in the world. And if we don't want to be left behind, if we don't want the United States to become a backwater, then the freedom of corporations to do what they want has to be reined in. And that's a difficult issue for Americans to confront and deal with. And we live in an ideology in which we're supposed to believe that what corporations choose to do will magically be the best for all of us. It hasn't worked that way. That's why we are where we are. Basic change is the order of the day. And, and the